Hey guys, welcome to The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. What's The Dig? It's a series dedicated to helping farmers be more profitable on their operation. This is like the third one we've done now. Oh, all right. Well, in this episode, we're gonna discuss the top five things we've learned in practical farm research in 2021. I'm Colin, this is Aaron. Let's dig in. Last year, a lot of us dealt with cold and wet conditions early in the growing season. In a previous episode, we mentioned that we even had a snow event occur in late April in the Indiana PFR farm. So we had a warm spell in March and decided we might as well try and plant some corn and beans. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Well then, late April, April 20th timeframe, we had a snow event come in and our crops were already emerged. And we got a little concerned about frost and you know the potential for that crop loss. It turns out that the snow acted as an insulator for the plants. Prior to planting, we had inserted a SoilTech wireless soil sensor that allows us to track soil temperature and moisture throughout the growing season. This is what it looks like. Ding! So if we look at the morning after the snow event, the air temperature was 27 degrees, but the soil temperature was 40 degrees. So lesson learned, even if you have snow on an emerged crop, don't freak out. Ah! I said don't freak out. Just how the snow protects the plants, it also protects the plants in the soil, never dropping below the freezing point. You know who else thrives in cold temperatures? I could only imagine. Four-time MVP quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Let's see what he has to say about cold temperatures and your crops. R-E-L-A-X. Relax. Another lesson learned from the cold temperatures this year is how plant metabolism works in cold and wet conditions. We witnessed examples of this with FMC's new fungicide, Zyway LFR, when applied in furrow on corn. Now, when we kept Zyway away from the furrow and say a two by two by two system, we saw no emergence or stand issues. But in some cases on those in furrow applications, we did experience delayed emergence and slightly reduced stands. And for this reason, FMC is in the process of changing that label for the Zyway to only be applied in two by two systems. We're excited to be trying Zyway again in 2022 and testing it in a couple different ways. On the topic of fungicide, a disease that's continued to spread throughout the Bex marketing area is... Tar Spot! Who can we talk to that maybe dealt with Tar Spot for the first time this year? Jonathan Perkins! I like that. Let's give Perky a call down in our Effingham, Illinois location. What's up, Jonathan? Hey, Jonathan. How's it going this morning? Doing good. Living the dream. Yeah. Hey, so we're talking about tar spot. Uh, so what, what what have you seen in down in Southern Illinois last year in 2021 for tar spot? Yeah, 2021, we actually saw it for one of the first few times. So normally we don't see it progress this far south, but it did make a Southern movement. And along with Southern rust, we saw both of those last year. So it was kind of a double whammy, if you will, and something we're not used to seeing. And we actually saw some yield gains in one of our studies in our timing study of anywhere from about eight bushels to uh, almost 30 bushel gains that we saw out of that. So definitely had an impact and the combine was just a little black guys from that day. So how does that change what you're doing in 2022? Does that influence any decisions you're making there? Absolutely. So one thing to keep a watch out for is it does overwinter in the residue. So we'll be keeping an eye out for it here. I'd encourage you to do that as well in your fields if you had it doing some of that early scouting, making sure we can we can find it early. Absolutely, but it does set in late sometimes, so even watch those late season scoutings as well. Hey, Jonathan, we appreciate the time. Thanks, good to see you guys. Yeah, see you, bud. See you too. Last year, we utilized a dribble system for the first time at PFR. The results were not far off from using a two by two by two system, although, we strongly encourage incorporating nitrogen into the soil. Surface applied nitrogen systems like a dribble application can be alternative in some environments. Now the reason we saw the results that we did in that two by two by two versus dribble study this last year can really be tied back to the environmental conditions. Across all the sites that participated in this study, timely rainfalls occurred, which led to incorporating that nitrogen into the soil profile before nitrogen loss could happen. When we look at the data that really reiterates that we didn't experience a lot of volatilization, when we added in Factor Plus, we really had no difference between the, the dribble treatment with and without the stabilizer in it, letting us know that it got incorporated timely. Another lesson we learned from last year is how vital all steps of photosynthesis are. 
Wildfires in the West calls for a series of weeks to be cloudy across the Midwest. Growers are in the business of harvesting sunlight, which is a key factor of photosynthesis. Due to the cloud coverage, less direct sunlight was able to be captured by the plant's leaves, which could have led to lower yields. So to recap, the top five things that we learned in PFR in 2021. Number one, in those cold and wet conditions, our knee-jerk reaction is to freak out. But that's not what we need to do. Stay calm, cool, and collected. Number two, we had good success with Zyway. It covers crown rot and those early season diseases. Number three, what perk do you have to say about tar spot? Hey guys, just a quick recap. Remember that the tar spot could be moving in even as far south as what we've seen on the I-70 for, for, for the 2022 season. So keep a lookout. Number four, it's always best to get that nitrogen incorporated into the soil. A more economical method would be the dribble tubes on top of the ground. Number five, when we like the sunlight needed for photosynthesis, it can really ding our crop there at the end of the year. There you have it, guys. There's the top five things we've learned in 2021. We hope you can just take a few lessons we've learned in our top five and implement them on your farm. If you want to learn more about Bex or about PFR and what we do, check out the link in the description to go to our website. And also make sure you guys hit that like button and smash that subscribe button as well. We'll see you guys again in another episode of The, the Dig. Dig. Peace. Like the peace. Come on in, you big lug. Can you Photoshop me in a combine harvesting the sun? Yeah, because we're talking like about harvesting the sun. Him, on a com him in a combine on the sun harvesting sunlight. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What was that? It looks like a little minion. Yeah, it, it does. It, it looks like a, a little miniature minion.